Hey, it's Karina, your virtual health coach. And my topic today is electrolytes. And more specifically, do we need beverages like Powerade and Gatorade to replenish our electrolytes? And do drinks like this really help us lose weight? Let's find out. So electrolytes are charged particles that help to keep that electrical conductivity that allows all of our cells to do the work they need to do. And we know that we lose a lot of these electrolytes when we sweat. So is it true that the best way to replenish your electrolytes is Powerade? As you may have guessed, my answer is no. I'm gonna explain a little bit later why Powerade defeats your weight loss efforts and prevents you from losing weight. But just to first address this topic of electrolytes, I wanna point out that electrolytes uh, essentially refer to a couple of different minerals that have this electrical charge. And basically all of your plant-based foods are excellent sources of electrolytes. So you could squeeze some lemon in your water, you could eat a salad, you could eat an avocado, basically any kind of plant-based food that you take in is gonna help replenish your electrolytes. Things like nuts and seeds, trail mix, beans, all of these different foods contain electrolytes in varying amounts. So why am I doing an entire video talking about why Powerade is so bad? Let me explain. Now for most of us, the whole reason we're working out in the first place is to get healthy and maybe lose some weight. So what I want you to understand about Powerade is the pure volume of sugar that drinks like these contain. So this Powerade contains 21 grams of sugar per serving, but there's two and a half servings here. Okay, so if you were to just drink the serving size, that 21 grams would equate to just a little over five packets of sugar. Now, most of us who are trying to lose weight would not add five packets of sugar to our coffee or our tea or whatever we're drinking. But if you were to drink the entire bottle of Powerade, which I suspect a lot of people would, especially while they're working out, now you're looking at around 52 grams of sugar and that's about 13 packets. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and I just want you to see how much sugar this is, right? Because anyone who's trying to lose weight would probably look at this amount of sugar and be able to understand why drinking this amount of sugar is not gonna help you lose weight. And especially drinking this much sugar while you're working out isn't completely defeating the purpose of your workout, but it's definitely gonna prevent you from actually burning fat because when you work out, your body's gonna start by burning all the sugar in your bloodstream. And only after it burns through that sugar does it actually start triggering that fat metabolism or fat burning. So the more sugar you have in your bloodstream when you go to do your workout, the longer your body's burning through sugar and before it even starts getting into the fat. So drinking liquid sugar while you're working out, very, very bad idea. Okay, so that's why I consider these sports drinks to just basically be the antithesis of weight loss, okay? And just to give you a little frame of reference, most of us that are trying to lose weight would not eat a Reese's Big Cup while we were working out, right? We'd be like, no, I'm working out, why would I do that? But I want you to get that this Powerade contains more sugar than the Reese's Big Cup. Okay, the Reese's Big Cup clocks in at 41 grams of sugar. That's only 10 sugar packets. Now that's still an absurd amount of sugar, but just get that it's still way less sugar than the Powerade. So this Powerade is a perfect example of empty calories. Just liquid sugar that you drink down, that sugar goes straight to your bloodstream. Basically it's going straight to get turned into fat because there's no way that your body can process that huge amount of sugar so quickly. And so while we're on the topic of empty calories, we can talk about Coca-Cola 
Again, something that most people who are trying to lose weight know that they shouldn't be drinking. So the Coca-Cola with 65 grams of sugar, about 16 sugar packets, and just get that that's only three sugar packets more than what you were getting in the Gatorade. Boom, 16 sugar packets in a Coca-Cola. And even more importantly to notice is that your fruit flavored beverages, fruit flavored beverages, uh, like this little Minute Maid clocks in at 71 grams of sugar. Okay, so that's almost 18 sugar packets. So I just want to really uh, try and illuminate why these liquid sugar beverages are such a hazard if you're trying to lose weight and why a fruit flavored beverage like this is really not even that much healthier than the soda or the Powerade or the Reese's Big Cup that we've already discussed. Now, one important thing to consider, okay, when we're talking about sugar, is that the refined white sugar, okay, when you just see sugar on an ingredient label, it's this refined white sugar they're talking about, is completely different for your body to digest than a sugar that is naturally present in a piece of fruit. Or, one of my personal favorite beverages, coconut water. So, when we take in the sugars that are just naturally present in fruit, again, they're much easier to break down and digest. Uh, typically, the sugars that you get from a natural food or a natural beverage, typically those naturally present sugars will also be significantly less than the sugar that they add into beverages like these. So just to do my little sugar packet uh, comparison here, uh, there's two serving sizes in this one can. So the can in total has 28 grams of sugar. And I'll just point out that this is one of the uh, sweeter coconut waters out there. So this one about 28 grams of sugar. Uh, this one I believe is 24 grams of sugar. 22 gram, or yeah, 24 grams of sugar in the whole can. But again, it's that naturally present coconut sugar that's just present in the coconut. So it's easier for your body to take in. It's easier for your body to break down. So that Coco Joy with 28 grams of sugar is about seven sugar packets which is still quite a lot of sugar, but just get that it pales in comparison to the 10, 13, 16, or 18 sugar packets that we had in some of these other items. It's also worth pointing out that when you have a source of minerals, a healthy source of minerals, that some of those minerals are electrolytes. So coconut water, again, becomes a great way to replenish your electrolytes. Uh, for instance, before or after your workout. And that natural sweetness makes it taste really, really nice. I love coconut water. Uh, this Sprouts brand one, again, has a little bit less sugar. This one has less coconut flavor. Uh, so some people really like the flavor of coconut. You would really love this Coco Joy. It's amazing. If you want a little bit more subtle flavor, maybe try one of the other brands. This Sprouts brand is really, really good, uh, but a lot more subtle. So just pointing out that sources of minerals equals sources of electrolytes. Natural sugars will always be a healthier option than high fructose corn syrup, which is, you know, even in this fruit juice, the second ingredient is high fructose corn syrup. So you just get, these are processed sugars, they don't have those natural benefits, they're harder for your body to break down, and they come in such a huge volume, okay, of liquid sugar that you're drinking, these are really, really terrible for both your health and your waistline. I also want to point out that we don't just have to drink our electrolytes to replenish them, that again, your electrolytes come from any kind of plant-based food. So eat an avocado, eat a handful of nuts. Those would be good ways to replenish electrolytes. Uh, one of my favorite little kind of snacks or post-workout snacks uh, are these Santa Barbara bars. And they actually add superfoods to the bars like chia seeds and pumpkin seeds. And remember that those little seeds are excellent sources of minerals. 
So something like this, even though it doesn't say it on the front, would be a great source to help you replenish electrolytes. And way less sugar in a bar like this than in any of these other things we've seen here. Um, and just kind of to drive all of that home, I have here some coconut sugar. And it actually says right here on the back, it says organic coconut sugar includes naturally occurring nutrients, magnesium, potassium, zinc, iron, B vitamins, and amino acids. So when you are drinking coconut water or eating something like coconut sugar in place of that regular refined sugar, not only is it easier to digest, easier for your body to handle, but it also includes a bunch of nutrients uh, like B vitamins and minerals, and again, electrolytes, so that you're not just getting those empty calories, those worthless calories that uh, increase your blood sugar levels, but don't actually give you nutrients. Another great thing post-workout uh, would be a plant-based protein powder. So this is just a really cute little kind of travel size. Uh, I really love this brand though, Live Well. And so again, raw plant protein. That means you're getting electrolytes in addition to a whole different array of nutrients uh, and complete protein, which is also really wonderful. Uh, this is the wild vanilla bean flavor, but I also just want to mention that raw cacao, uh, which is another flavor they have here, raw cacao in itself, a fantastic source of magnesium, which is one of those really important electrolytes. Uh, so raw chocolate, what could be a better way to replenish electrolytes than that? Um, so if you are looking for a drink to have post-workout, I think you know a raw plant protein powder, something like this, would probably be one of your healthiest options. Again, you always wanna replenish your protein as well after working out, uh, so another reason that that makes a great little addition to your workout regimen. So there you have it, electrolytes. Please chime in and let me know what you thought of this video or if you have other questions or topic requests that you would like me to address in the future. You can learn more about me and my health coaching practice at KarinaRachel.com. I wanna thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day. With hundreds of videos that you can stream on virtually any device to help you reduce stress, lose weight, or just improve your health and well being overall. At wellnessplus.tv, we are dedicated to helping you on your health and wellness journey. Join wellnessplus.tv find hundreds of videos to help you improve the health of your body and your mind. Wellnessplus.tv. Get well, feel better.